guys so I'm just sitting here and I was about to post a video but then I don't think I gave enough explanation as for um, the pictures that are going to be in it so um, this video is part of another video uh, right after this little short clip you're going to see two photos one because I've never really placed photos in my um on my YouTube channel within my video um, one I'm just um I'm showing off, I think the first time I'm mostly showing off my plugs. I never really mentioned them in my videos, but I'm super excited about them. Um, I'm at a 2G now. Um, I'm not going like to a big size where my ear is going to be hanging. But there is literally a pair of plugs that I want that is gorgeous that I had to stretch up for because they're just, they weren't going to look right with just having like a regular 18 gauge um, earring. And then it, it'll just be hanging. Like I don't like that look. Like I like it because when it's stretching it also spreads the ear and then you know whatever so the first one is that one and then the second one to be honest i can't even remember what the second photo was necessarily i know my hair is on there but anyway and so after the video starts i have another video at the end and it shows how my hair looks stretched out like i've never well i have done it once but i was just um this side of my hair i think it is yeah, it's this side of my hair. It's like this side and this very front side. It's giving me like, it's giving me hell, 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 hell for it to lock on the ends. And you know, um, I I probably need to add some more locking gel on it. Um, I haven't in a minute just because I've been super busy. But anyway, so I I was I don't know I was pulling it down one day and it stretched like my hair is literally right here and I was so excited about it I just had to take a picture of it but it looks like it's like a loose natural even my sister I sent her a picture of it and she thought that I was taking my hair out and I'm like of course not but like look at the picture it's at the end it looks like a loose natural but that's how my hair looks stretched and you can tell like how when it gets towards the end I kind of struggle with this side so again um I just want to give you guys a heads up about the photos that's in there Thank you so much for watching. Again, I ask at the end of my videos when I remember for anybody who's sister lock, who has short hair, long hair, whatever, don't care. Please just let me know how you're doing. I'm very excited for you guys' journey. I wish you the best. Gosh, I wish you the best. I hope your hair turns out exactly how you want it. If it doesn't, it still turns out beautifully. So, I'm um, again, thank you so much for watching. Bye. So it's green olive. I just wanted to come and show you my fresh ruby tie. It was looking really, really good yesterday, but of course I slept on it and um, it kind of got smushed. So anyway, um, what I started doing, I started doing this my last free tie. For anybody who is, you know, you're a few months into your sister log, up anywhere shy of a year, depending on the length of your hair, even if you go past a year. Um, I hate the, I call it the street dog look. I shouldn't call it that because I'm sure not everyone looks like that. I'm just talking about me. But whenever I get my hair uh, retightened, I have the street dog look and I hate it. Like my hair is, you know, it's straight. It's like, it's kind of like sticking out because it just got that fresh retight. So I was just like, I don't want to look that anymore. So I started, um, the last one I did a, I did a twist out on. But I actually like how my hair looks better with the uh, braid outs. So now what I do is I do a braid out. And I, I was telling my, my consultant was like, I'm so glad you're wearing your hair down now. Because I used to wear it up in ponytails. And she was like, um, you know, I was like, well, that's because I, I braid it now before I come to you. I style it before I come to you. And she was like, yeah, that's the thing to do. That's what she does. She'll do a braid out before she goes and get her hair retight. So therefore, you don't have to mess with it. Because I don't know about you guys. But after I get my hair a fresh retight, my scalp is sore. I have very sensitive scalp. So I don't feel like bothering my hair right after I get a braid out. But anyway, so I wanted to show you guys how my hair is looking. I'm going to give you guys a, you know, all around. Look at that. Ain't God good? Yes. I am loving it. I really am. Direct top. Bring it to the side. Can you see? Can you see? So, I really, really like it. I really like it. Um. So, this is how it's working because my hair is getting a little bit longer. Um. 
the older it gets, it's starting to, it'll hang a little bit better. So it'll hang a little bit better. So, and I really, really like that. So now, like, I like my retights like a week. Well, like probably after I wash it for some reason, because it gets a little bit fluffier and it's not as stringy looking. But um, definitely the older it gets, I love it, especially when I do my braid outs. Except when it gets to like that last week when it's time to get a retight. A sister's like, nah, like, I like how I throw and then sister locks on top of it. But whatever, it worked out. So anyway, um, as a reminder, my consultant was like, my hair looks good. My hair is locking really well. Um, I did the same thing I did this last time. I took my mango lock and twisting gel and I applied it to my, I raked it into my roots. Not that much, but I raked it into my roots that were kind of like, it seals it in where I just got that fresh retight. You don't have to do that for the remainder of your hair as of that day when you get your retight. Again, I am not a sister lock consultant. I am not a specialist on this. I just do what works for my hair. Um, you try to set your own risk. I just give tips and hints, you know, just because I like to share the love. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is when I'm about to wash my hair the next time, then I will take a little bit more of the locking gel. You can, on the... On the little can, the little bottle, can, can and thing it comes in, the little jar, it says you can put it in your hair every day. I don't put it in my hair every day. But what I will do, and what I do do is, I before I wash my hair, I will like three days before I wash my hair, I'll get the mango lock and twist and gel that I showed you in the yellow jar, and I'll rake it through my hair. Rake it, and I pay special attention to the ends, because as you can see, I still have some ends that give me a little trouble. Um, I'm going to also see if I can um, attach a photo in here because before I got my last retight, this piece of my hair, like, and this side of it literally comes right here. It stretches down to here and it looked like it was loose natural. My sister even thought that I took my hair loose, which I would never do. But um, I'm going to rake that through my hair three days before my wash. I'll twist my hair and put the barrettes at the end like I usually do. That's my banding method. Um, again, I don't twist all the way down to the end because you're unraveling your hair the farther you go down with the twisting or braiding when you try to un, um, un take it loose. So, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying not to shake the camera so much. I'm so sorry. But, um, yeah, so I'm trying to think of anything else that I've started doing or stopped doing. <sighs> Excuse me. My hair is starting to get um, dandruff again and it's starting to get kind of itchy. So I spray it now probably once a week to once every two weeks. It literally depends on what I'm doing. The more I sweat, the more I spray. So, but lately it's kind of cold where I'm at. So I haven't had to spray but once a week. I'm at once oh, every week and a half to two weeks, sometimes less. Um, yeah, so it's been hanging in pretty good. Um, I still want to do the sponge roller set on it with the bigger rollers. I haven't gotten it yet. Um, I'm probably not going to do it until another four weeks now just because I don't like it on my fresh retight hair. It just doesn't look right. Maybe if I had like really thick hair, like a lot of density, it would look okay. But for right now, I think my hair just looks better the way I have it now. So um, again, I just want to give you a quickie. I'm going to figure out why well, I've done it before. So I'm going to attach that video, I mean that picture that I said I was going to attach. So yeah, so for anybody who has been following, please let me know how your lock situation is going. If you're new to locks, you've been with it for a few months, whatever, let me know how your locks are doing. Um, let me know how your ends are doing, how the locking is going, how your consultant said the locking is going. Um, I, my consultant told me that it's every six weeks that we do a retight. I thought it was seven, but it's every six weeks. Um, I wash my hair probably it depends. Sometimes so much time goes by, I don't even know. Usually I do it once every one to, I mean every two to three weeks, I'll wash my hair. Um, when usually when I'm changing styles, I just spritz it just a little bit, just to dampen it. Actually what I do now is I braid the hair first for my braid outs. I braid it first, then I spritz it because that way I don't have to worry about my hair swelling. So that's just a tip, you know, to help with the slippage and everything. Try braiding your hair first um, bore it in at the end because then you get the cute little curls at the end and then spritz your hair. Don't soak it because with, with sister locks, you're honestly, if, if I braided my hair dry, it would still come out as crinkly as this. I would just have to leave it in probably like a date extra. But if you're like, if you're doing this style for a next day style, 
What you do is you braid your hair first, section it off, braid it first, then spritz it lightly, just enough to dampen it. It does not need to be like so through. I'm telling you, it doesn't need to be so through. Um, just a little bit of what I do, like a shh on it. That's it. Um, put the red on it. You could do this about at 8 o'clock that night. Yeah. No, let's say 7 o'clock that day. Do it 7 o'clock that day, and if you're air drying it, the next morning you get up for work, loosen it, and you should have like really defined ones. Now, if you have a dryer, then you could just sit under your dryer for a few hours, and it should be good two hours, however long it may take to make sure it's literally dried through. But you do not have to add water to your hair to style it just because they're locks. Like, I think they're they shape very easily. So, again, spray your I spray my either twist outs or braid outs. I spray them after I twist or braid the hair. I don't spray it and then twist it. I spray it after it. That way it's secure. It's not unraveling. It's not swelling up because you sprayed it, etc. So just try it. You don't have to try it if you don't want to, but it's what works for me. Um, so I just want to share that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share um, how your experience is going below. Let me know how it's going just to check in. Um, thanks again for watching. Bye.